Hello everyone. In today's video, I'd like to show you how to tell the difference between two colours that are visually quite similar, but genetically quite different. They are ash red and recessive red. So although both of these colours have the word red in them, they're actually quite different. And depending on which breed of pigeon you have, one or the other might be more common. So in racing pigeons, like most of my birds are, ash red is much more common, but recessive red still does exist. And for some people, it can be a little bit difficult to tell the difference between them. So let's have a look at the birds first, and then I'll talk about the genetics. So I'll start with this one. This is an ash red. And the first thing you notice is that the pattern is quite clearly visible. This one's obviously a bar pattern, and he has his two bars here. Now, if you compare that to recessive red, you can see that the pattern is completely obscured. If you've seen any of my genetics videos, you know that every pigeon has a pattern. But having a look at this hen, who unfortunately decided to go and play in the rain just before I started filming, you can see that the pattern, although it's there, is completely hidden by the coat of recessive red. Now, recessive red doesn't always completely hide the pattern. There are some instances where you can see the pattern bleeding through the cover of recessive red. And when it comes to darker ash red pigeons, you can see the pattern on this guy, but when it comes to some darker pigeons, it can be difficult to tell between a T pattern and just a coat of recessive red. So now I'll show you another clue you can look at to tell if your pigeon is ash red or recessive red. And that is by looking at the tail. So here we have another recessive red pigeon. And let's have a look at his tail. Now if you ignore the white feathers, you can see over here, and on the other side, you can see a quite clear tail bar. Now, again, depending on their genetics, not all recessive red pigeons will have a tail bar, but let's compare that to an ash red pigeon. I'll go and catch one now. This guy is an ash red spread, which itself is a nice interesting colour, but let's have a look at his tail. If I spread his tail, you can see fairly clearly that the tail bar is not there. So that's another clue. If you can't tell by looking at the wing shield pattern, take a look at the tail bar. It's not foolproof, but it'll give you another indication. And hopefully with those two together, you might be able to tell if your bird is an ash red or a recessive red. But if you really can't tell visually, you might have to do some breeding tests to find out. So the one thing that might make it slightly difficult to do a breeding test with recessive red is in the name. Recessive red is obviously a recessive gene. And that is another difference between recessive red and ash red. Ash red is actually a dominant gene. It's a sex-linked dominant gene, which complicates things a little bit, but it is a dominant gene nonetheless. So the easiest way to do a breeding test to tell if your bird is ash red or recessive red is to pair it with a blue bar. But because we're dealing with a recessive gene, you need to know that it's a blue bar who does not carry it. You need to know that it's a blue bar who does not carry the recessive red gene. Because if the bird you're testing with does carry the same recessive gene, you're not going to learn anything. Anyway, if you pair a recessive red to a blue bar who does not carry a recessive red, you won't get any reds. None of the young will be red, they'll all come out blue. But if you did that same test with an ash red bird, you usually will get some red in the nest. Because, like I said, it's a dominant gene. It is a sex link gene, so it depends on the sex of the red pigeon you use. If your red bird is a hen, then all of the young cocks that you produce will be red. If the ash red bird that you have is a cock, then you'll get ash reds in both sexes, but you could also get blues depending on his genetics. But the main thing is, you should start getting a few red babies if the pigeon you have is ash red rather than recessive red. Just as a bit of an added complication, ash red and recessive red are different genes, they're even on different chromosomes which means that it is possible for a pigeon to be both ash red and recessive red at the same time, but we might leave that for another video on another day. There are also a whole number of other genes that can cause a red phenotype, but again, we'll talk about them in the future. That's not for this video today. Anyway guys, I hope that's cleared a few things up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have a good one.